alikasikia mmoja akisema ah huyu ni Kaluma na wengine wanasema mm hawezi kuwa Kaluma mimi ndiye Peter Kaluma mjumbe wa Oma Bay Town kijana wa baba mtu wa ODM Your Excellency I am a Catholic and so yesterday when I got information you'd be worshiping in uh, this great church of ours from brother Farouk I requested that you be requested to allow me to come with you to church I'm grateful your excellency you allowed it Ya mwisho ama niendelee Eh juzi your excellency nimekuwa nikitembea huku sana hasa upande wa Nandi so there is a day I said um, tutaingia na tutakuja tuwasaidie kuheshimu rais kumsaidia kuungana na ye, kuunganisha taifa na watu wengi sana hasa Mandago alisema utakuja kweli Mandago Mandago sasa niko wapi <laughs> niko hapa <laughs> We are here your excellency to thank you very much for what you've been doing in words and indeed in uniting the country. You've spoken the language of unity from the very beginning of your reign. And our people do not understand but when you saw and put your hand on the Bible and lifted the constitution among the matters which you said before Kenyans you defend is the unity of our nation. And that is why the constitution says you are the symbol of national unity. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be with my sister here in the Catholic parish at parliament we call her Mother Superior. Mother Superior. But Your Excellency, there is a great leader who came from an Anyapkoi across here. He has since passed on. He was called Chepkut. He replaced Brother Chepkonga temporarily, and now Chepkonga is back. I think because he knew Chepkonga was a lawyer, he always remembered Article 131. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever we were in Parliament, even if the issue of Article 131 never was being debated, he would come from nowhere and say, Article 131, the authority of the President. And then he would count the four of them. And he would start by saying, the president is the commander-in-chief of the defense forces. And he, will, he would end with, he exercises the, exercises the executive authority of the state. Then he would end with, he's the symbol of national unity. He remembered those provisions more than us lawyers like Jeb Conga. And we remember him for that. We want to request everybody who voted for the president to allow him to exercise that authority in the constitution that is so to exercise. Na la mwisho naona hata nikiongea your excellency bado wanauliza hii watu wamekuja kweli. Atutoki. Mali tumetoka si ndio mbali? Eh kutembea kutoka Sudan, Uganda mpaka ufike huko sasa kutembea kutoka Kisumu na Moiben Raisa tutoki Mine is to warn you to respect the presidency We are searching for it atujawahi pata sisi upande ule and we will help you and to caution you that people who come last like us Si Biblia usema people went to harvest lakini mwishowe hata wale walitoka nini walipata sawa Eh and <laughs> your excellency thank you very much you are giving us better than them better than them give us more because we are your prodigal sons your prodigal sons but your excellency i know time is out let me thank you very much for the support you are giving our party leader to be the chairman of the african union commission within the ODM fraternity which you know and within uh, our people whom you know very well who are tunasema babako akiwa uchi 
mtu atupe au aweke nguo juu yake huyo mtu anakuwa babako babako akitambaa na mtu ampatie bakora huyo si ni rafiki na baba yeah the only request your excellency is that before he goes to Addis Ababa because we have never known you to fail in anything to fail in anything do you believe the president can fail to take baba to Addis Ababa yeah so before he goes you will come to Oma Bay and um, he will hand us over as his children uh, to you so that you can pray together i thank you very much